Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And we are again talking all month long about the Rider Waite Tarot and the symbolism in it and kind of maybe getting down into the nitty gritty of things. And as you saw, our Monday card is very much a Monday card. Those of you who have seen some of my other videos know Nine of Swords is kind of one of my favorite cards to hate, so to speak. It is very simple to understand this card. It is known in some ways as the nightmare card, the anxiety card, the stress card, the card that causes all your hell. Yes, it is the nine of swords. So nines are usually the completion of things. So if you see a nine in the pip cards or a nine represented, it's kind of a culmination or a reflection time. This is the part of your story that it's like, okay, we think we figured everything out or not. And we're about to come to the ending. So what is going to happen? The story of the swords is pretty much a miserable story. It does not end well, spoiler alert. And the nine of swords is pretty indicative of that. But I want to kind of point out some of the other things in this that are in a little bit ways positive. So obviously this is a character who's sitting up in bed, very nightmare-ish. We have the black in the background that represents shadow work and nighttime and all of those kinds of things. We have the swords up on the wall or possibly like in his head. So they're like a very psychological thing. So he's either having nightmares or he's waking up from nightmares. But we have all the symbols of the zodiac. I don't know how easy it is to see on the quilt here, but all the symbols of the zodiac are represented on here. And those symbols are representative of all of the things that we have to kind of face while we spend our time here on Earth. So you have your symbols of the zodiac, your, your phases that you have to go through, so to speak, as well as the red roses. Red roses actually symbolize vitality and life and experiences. They also represent sacrifice and blood and masculinity and all of those things. But it's sort of a, yes, there is something to learn from this. So even though you may be anxious and you may have things to worry about, that's motivating you to push through or get through to something else or possibly learn from whatever mistakes you may have made that have made you anxious. Also, down in the bottom here, it's kind of hard to see, especially on these cards. It's very woodblock art and it's two characters that seem to be fighting. Well, I have always seen it as this is the character fighting himself. So what is happening on the bed is also kind of happening in his head. This is very much man against himself sort of energy with this card. This is, there are no other adversaries on this card. Sometimes though, if you look back on some of the other cards that we've looked at of this one, we've seen in like the Mystical Medleys one, there was the little imp that was sitting on his chest. I also think that that's kind of the shadow self. Mm -hmm. So this is fighting against your shadow self, fighting against the things that are causing you anxiety. Hey, happy Monday, by the way. Yes, if I didn't say that already. So all of these things are represented. This is card also is represented by the I Ching or the I Ching. Quan is the, uh, the symbol, if you will, for this one. And it is oppression, but it is also experience. So you're looking at this card and you're thinking, oh, he's in an awful way. He's feeling very oppressed. He's feeling very anxious, all of these things. But he's also experiencing life. We can't just have good things all the time. We have to have that negativity a little bit to motivate us to get out of that negativity. Or it's sort of character building. It's sort of like when you are creating characters in a story, you want to very much be looking at both sides of them. What is their negative aspect? What is their positive aspect? What gives them anxiety? What motivates them? All of those kinds of things. So while our Nine of Swords and the story of the swords itself is pretty rough, I do think that this card, when it comes up, is a great reminder to people to say like, hey, what are some things you need to work on? What are some things you need to fix? Also, I will point out that I'm doing this card kind of in the middle of a Mercury retrograde and some lunar eclipse stuff going on. So there's a lot of things going on with this card in respect to the now. I don't usually do this because I want these videos to kind of be timeless. But in this case, yeah, let's pay attention to all the astrological things that are going on as well. So until next time, I hope you do stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and don't be so anxious. But... I can't say that because I'm anxious all the time too. But, all right.